Hey guys, what's up? Eddie Alho here with KissAnalog.com. All right, I want to show you some testings today that you can save a lot of money. They're in this box here, okay? I'm going to show you them. But basically, it's these. Different brand names, but um, I don't know if you can hear that, but these test seeds are just freaking awesome. They're silicon leads, okay? They have a nice soft grip here. Uh, they're just awesome, but they have replaceable tips. I'm going to show you this, okay? We're going to bring the camera here. I'm going to show you the, the tips, but there's a little wrench to tighten them up. I kind of tighten them by fingers. It seems like it's enough, but sometimes I, I have used a wrench to cinch them down so I can probe them, but they come with different tips. And what's really neat about that is there's some stainless steel tips. <laughs> these guys, these these probes are just awesome. The the there's tension relief in the in this end, right? They're nice and soft. They bend. They're flexible, so you can point them down, whatever. And then same here on this type. You know, just moves. But these are silicone, so they're so soft and rubbery. So guys, I've used uh, back in the day. I bought Probe Masters. And I've got a number of these sets. And see what I do is I zip tie. If you guys have used silicone leads, you know how flexible they are. Actually, the funny thing is, is these are PVC. But they're kind of a flexible PVC. It's funny how some PVCs are... Well, Fluke has figured out how to make PVC as unflexible as possible. <laughs> you guys know what I'm talking about. Sorry, Fluke. It's my humble opinion. They are the worst seeds on the market by far. By freaking far. And what annoys the heck out of me is the same company that owns Fluke, because Fluke stopped fluking more, you know, they're owned by another company for years it's been that way. They also own Pomona. And Pomona makes some awesome test seeds. I'm going to do another video to show you the Pomona. I've done a video. I'll link it down below. I was kind of surprised. I thought I did more test seed videos, but I haven't. Anyway, so look, gold flashing or whatever, you know, coated, gold coated tips. The theme of when they do the gold, it's not solid gold, right? Obviously. So what happens, it wears off, you know, it, it just does. Because, so when you spend, say, 50 bucks on Pomona, and Pomona, like, now, one thing is, see how short the, the tip is? They have a bunch of different styles, guys, but a lot of their styles are like this. One of the things is, see how the these are bare? They have some with the jacket over the top. That's kind of a safety thing that came up years ago. But they have both types of that. This kind you can plug in the back. So there's all kinds of different methods they use. I mean, you know, ProMaster is awesome so nothing wrong with them you know but what i'm saying is unless you don't like this flexibility some people like to hold something rigid like they want to support something against their back of their hand right here so that when they're doing something and these are so flexible and stuff i i wanted to love these i mean i did love them for years because you know how you want to do that audio files know this <laughs> anyway i just keep on jabbing them uh but anyway uh yeah these seeds are almost too malleable if you know what i mean it's almost like it's a little bit too soft because there's nothing like you can't you know use this part of your hand to hold the probe straight you know if you're using chopsticks can you imagine if they're that soft you couldn't pick up anything so if you've used these and you've gotten used to them fine but anyway, the point is, 50 bucks, they're going to wear out. The gold flashing is going to wear out. So if you love that, and if that's what you bought them for, and if it starts breaking your heart when you start seeing your gold wear off, and you can see there's stainless steel coming through. Sorry, that's the way it works. So you can also buy the Flukes, fit around 50 bucks on sale or whatever, and the Twist Guard ones, okay? The 175Es, I think they call these. And... If you're an electrician, I, I recommend these actually because um, because if you're in a place where you need to have that 
insulated protective. Those stupid caps that we're supposed to keep track of, nobody keeps track of those, right? Especially the fluke ones that just, you do this, you pop them. I don't have one right here, but you know what I'm talking about. They just pop off. I To me, that seems like a safety issue, in my humble opinion. But these twist guards are freaking awesome. So I love these, 50 bucks, okay? I would, and anyway, I would probably buy these over the Pro Masters. 50 bucks, I'd probably buy these guys. But I, I'm not sure about that because I don't have to stretch my brain on that because I would buy these for under $20. These are the ones I like. So see, they're longer, the rigid part's longer, they're soft back here, so you have that back here where your knuckle hits it, it's still rigid. So if you wanna you know, do some chopsticks and eat food, you know, you got control over them, right? Uh, the cool thing about these is that they are soft. Whoops. So they are soft. You got some grip on these. Hey, guys, by the way, it's my birthday. So <laughs> April 10th, my birthday. Just wanted to mention that because I'm making a video on my birthday. Should be upstairs having a beer or something, right? But I'm going to do that in a moment. I came home from work. Long day. I'm doing a video, guys. Hope you like this. But you know what? That that lead, I like having after, you know, I I I've got a number of Pro Masters. I got a brand new set that I bought for the channel to show, and I was trying to show those. I couldn't find them. But I gotta tell you, for under 19 bucks, like right around $19, these leads are amazing. So you get the silicon soft leads, okay? And one way to do them, guys, is twist them up. Now, I did this years and years ago, but twist them up, put some tie wraps on them so it holds them together. Now, again, these aren't silicone. These are uh, soft PVC. But now the one thing about these, they were white plastic or silicone. And so, man, it's amazing. I've been, you can almost tell they're my favorites because I've only had them. I don't know, I've had them a couple years maybe, but they're kind of dirty now. I need to wash them because make them nice and bright. But what I want to show you is I couldn't find those. Oh, I just grabbed these. These are the Unity leads, by the way. So, hey, I may as well show those. Silicone, they look like they're, they, they really look like they came from the same company that makes these, right? Look at that. This set right here, I'm going to show you, I'm going to bring the camera over and show you this nice and close. But this set right here, is different brand but the same as this now instead of white it's kind of a light blue but 19 bucks guys and you get this box of all these different tips so all right guys so here let me just show you a few, let me just show you a few testings i want to show you these but let me show you um the fluke what i want to show you is just what happens to your leads over time. They wear out, okay? I've had these for a while, and these are awesome for electricians, these twist guards. I really think that was a, a really, really neat design from Fluke. So, gotta hand it to them. That was awesome, okay? So, if you're an electrician where you need that, where you don't want to accidentally short stuff, but you can see how the short those leads are now. So, they have wore down, and this one's kind of bent up. So, anyway, so, you end up with $50 leads and you're wondering, should I throw them away? Now, the thing about the Fluke, they're silicone leads, of course, but and this side's nice and soft, you know. I always liked the looks of the black and red. I, I always thought that was kind of cool. But anyway, so I've got a couple sets of these. See, here's a brand new here's a brand new set I bought for the channel so I could show them off. The TL-175Es, 50 bucks. But hold on a second. A lot of people talk about Probe Masters, okay? 50 bucks as well. Now these don't have silicon leads. I've had these around forever. And when you buy these, you have to make sure you get silicon leads, you know, if that's what you want. Now what I've done is I've used these tie wraps to, I twisted them and then used tie wraps to hold them together. And they're gold, but you can kind of tell the gold's wore, wore off, okay? The gold's kind of wore off. So that's what happens then you still keep them around even though they don't look great anymore. And the thing with Pro Masters, I just feel like they're 
too small for my hand. You know, I, I loved them, wanted, actually wanted to love them. And then over, over using them for a while, I just realized they're just too small. I, I, there's not enough support back here on my knuckle when I'm using them. And they kind of twist. Like sometimes I'm pushing and they kind of twist. And then the tips, they, they always get kind of bent up. And anyway, so 50 bucks. Okay, now if you just sit at the bench, you never work, uh, they'll last for a long time. But if you actually do work with them, they wear out. So here's the Unities, which is interesting because here's the ones I've been using for the last couple of years. They're very similar, right? It's kind of amazing how similar they are. It seems like they got to be made out of the same factory. But these Unity leads are really nice. They're not screw on, they're permanent. That's the difference. These leads I've been using. All right, so these leads, so these leads I've been using for all this time, uh, you can see how they're not really pristine white anymore. They're kind of tarnished and kind of getting dirty a little bit. Maybe I need to clean them up and see if it's tarnished. See if they'll come bright again. But anyway, I really like these. They're longer. They give me support back here on my knuckle. So like that, they're still super flexible back here where they need to be, and then these things screw out. So let me show you the new set. Oh, and by the way, the other end of them looks like this, nice and soft and flexible like the flukes were, okay? So, and, and they fit in the meters really tight, snug, all that. So here's the other brand. Looks like the same kind of design, like exactly, except for the colors kind of bluish instead of white. Other than that, they look exact to me really nice but you know what you get a bonus you get these and these are uh you know these have a nice spring and those hooks are strong some of these if you know what i'm talking about they seem really cheap and weak these seem nice okay so you get a nice set of leads there you get this nice set of leads but let me show you you get all these different tips okay now first of all I'll show you because there's some real sharp ones. So they have these little protective things here so you don't stab yourself, which I have actually done many times. So you have these little protective guys. There are things you get these little hooks. So if you like to, you know, cinch them down onto um, your speaker jack or power supply jack, you can use those. But they come with a banana plug plugs in. And then you also have this kind, these alligators, big fat wide grip, okay? Nice strong spring, nice soft rubber, okay? And these are hard plastic, this the, this type. But these are nice and soft and rubber. And see how they're coated all the way around? So very nice, but you need bananas for those, right? So what you do is, yeah, here we go. You grab this banana and see how it has a spinning basket in it? So that little basket in there spins just like the high quality you know, Pomona's and stuff, okay? So you get a nice banana jack to plug into those things. Okay, put those two things over here. But you also have these stainless steel pins. Now these are the kind that you'd put your Athena and tighten down. Okay, it's just a barrel, a nice barrel that you put through a power supply or a speaker jack. So you can tighten them down that way if that's the kind of uh, thing you have, okay? So, let me pull the other one out, put that up here. But you also have this option, okay? Just a normal test lead. Very sharp point with the little collar right here. And so you have that option. That's just your normal stainless steel uh, test lead, okay? Or tip. But I'll tell you what. These are the ones I like the most. These super sharp gold tips. Sure, if they wear out, I spent 19 bucks. I can replace the whole kit caboodle for 19 bucks. But man, those are those are nice. I like those. I use those a lot because they're so sharp. They can poke through conformal coating. They can give you a really good contact to your solder joint. Those, and also when you're trying to touch uh, the chips today, the real teeny legs for surface mount, you need something that small and that sharp to, to make a good contact, okay? without shorting something, right? Now you also have, okay, that's the other pair of him. But you have two sets of that. So if you do wear it out, you have two sets, okay? So 
two sets of those nice gold ones, okay? But look at this, and I've totally used these a number of times, where I have to reach down through some circuits or something, and I have to touch something. I love those. I just, just love those long tips. <laughs> when I first saw them, I thought they were a joke, but then one day I, was, I needed to reach through something between some parts and touch a pad. I'm like, holy cow. So here's the thing. I put this on one, on the red one, and on the black one, I put one of these other tips. I forget which one it was, but I, I think I had the short gold ones on, and then I pulled one off and put this one on the red one. And so the, so yeah, so you can mix, mix and match too, to suit your needs. And I usually finger tighten, but one time I did actually hand tighten them because I knew I was gonna stick with the shorter gold ones for a while. So I actually used a little wrench to tighten them in so I wouldn't have to keep on, because I'd always check with my fingers to make sure they're tightened. But I eventually just thought, well, I'm gonna stick with those for a while. So I wanted to show you this lead set, guys. For 19 bucks, how can you beat that for 19 bucks? Seriously, let me know. <laughs> awesome. All right, guys, so tell me, are you impressed? I think you gotta be, right? Uh, for under 20 bucks, under, I think they're just under $19. For 19 bucks to buy some silicon leads with these tips, it's hard to promise somebody something because you never know what somebody else's application is, but I just can't believe that I can't promise you that if you bought these, you wouldn't be happy with them. And if any of you guys do buy them, please leave comments down below and tell tell the rest of us what you think of them but to me i have no no issues at all recommend these because i ha even though i have some really nice meters back here and a lot of them all the nice ones come with nice silicon leads uh the testo ones i really like those these leads for 19 bucks now the thing is is you know if someone's telling you to buy some probe masters to go with your new multimeter and your multimeter costs you 50 bucks and you're buying $50 leads. Doesn't that sound silly? Like, hey, here's a $20,000 car, but I got some $20,000 tires that will be perfect. You're, you know, it's like the leads are just part of the meter. They shouldn't be equal in cost. It's crazy. You know, $19 because of all the extra options you get with all the extra tips. I feel that's great. There is a set of leads, and I'll show you guys if you're interested. They cost under $10. They don't have replaceable tips. They're they're more like the ones I get with Unity. And they're awesome for under 10 bucks. So I'll show you those if you guys like those. But I just thought I'd show you these. 19 bucks. I've been using these. I keep on moving around different meters. But yeah, there's other probes back here I really like too. So whichever one's the closest one. And it seems like the FLIR, the AMP probe, and the KPS leads. There's a few leads back here I just keep on grabbing because they're just close. But, uh, yeah. And now I've left these on the Unity because, I, I, yeah, I like those too. But those long, skinny, stabby probes, when you're working on circuit boards. All right, guys. This video is too long. <laughs> Sorry about that. Hey. Two thumbs up to my patrons, my members of my channel, to Danny. Thanks so much for being a team member. And anybody hitting that like button down below, you guys will see the names here. I appreciate uh, everyone there. Now, you guys want to support the channel for free, just subscribe. Hit the like button. That helps a lot. Thanks for watching. And let me know what else you'd like to see, whether it's test seeds. I've got some Pomona test seeds that are somewhere in between the expensive ones and these. So I'll show you those, okay? All right, see you next time.